Hello, friends. This is the Casey, Illinois edition of the Thrift Flip Road Trip. Our hosts are the Unicorn Dust Designs and the Crafty Cousin. Please check out their channel and the the playlist and our in the description box for more Thrift Flip ideas. Today, Terry found a tray in her stash. It does have a Hobby Lobby tag on it, but we're not sure whether she if it's a thrift flip or from the auction. But she's decided she's going to flip this into a cute Halloween tray for spooky season. I hope you we hope you enjoy her painting. Okay, now that the tray is all base coated. I'm going to go in and just using my liner brush, I'm going to use um, black paint and make more squiggly lines on my limbs just to make it look a little bit more spookier. And when I was totally done with this video, I went in and added quite a few more. And then I shaded around each of these pumpkins with a medium brown that will separate them all. And then I also shade on the outside of each pumpkin and that, make that makes them look more dimensional like you can see it's happening already here in the video. I also go back in and using a dry brush, uh, put some white in there. I added in the eyes. There is a nose on there. It's hard to see in the video that I used with a light gray. And then I want to shade around the outside of my ghost and that will just pull him off of the tray. As you can see, it looks now like looking at him as a whole, he just looks like he could jump off the plate. And that's, that's the look that you want to get. I couldn't figure out what to do in the sky except maybe put some bats and then I thought, oh, a witch's hat's going to be easier. So I put a hat in here, gave it a green hat band, and then for the hat, instead of making a lot of different patterns, I just added in whatever colors were on my palette, that pink and red and green, and just dabbed my brush in there and that gave it you know, a little bit of a pattern to it. Also on the white part of the ghost, I went in and did some shading down there at the bottom. And each of these pumpkins, I added a stem. And the stems could all be different. All the pumpkins, I wanted them to all look different. So they're different eyes, nose, mouth. The big one, I used black for the um, eyes. The bottom ones, I changed it up to yellow. It gives them more of a glowing look, especially when I took my orange paint and I shaded inside of each of the orange elements. And then I did take a liner brush and line around each of them as well. Just pulled it all out and brought it all together. I liked how each of the pumpkins had their own little expression. I did go ahead and leave the two on the side. They were pretty small and with that lip on the tray it was going to be a little bit of trouble trying to get my brush in there. So. They look fine. They look like they are baby pumpkins waiting to be turned into jack-o'-lanterns when they grow up. And then up here in the trees, I thought it'd be cute to add in some ghost. So you want to water down your paint so that when you're painting, it has a translucent, transparent glow to it. So I added two ghosts and I really like how they turned out. I added just 
on each of them two black eyes. Then I decided I needed a word on it. I love to add lettering to my things. So I used my liner brush and painted in the word boo. When I was done with this, I was really happy. I did put diamond dust on different areas and then I sprayed it with a clear enamel outdoor sealer. It sparkled, it shined, it's one of the best pieces I've ever painted. And it was just a tray that I had. I'm pretty sure I bought it from Hobby Lobby, but it really turned out cute. So I hope you give it a try and I hope you watch other videos. Thanks for watching everybody.